Hey houseplant friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the Monstera of Botanicas, or my top 10 favorite Monstera of Botanicas. I have 10 Monstera on this list that I'm gonna be showing you. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanna thank Botanicas for sponsoring this video and bringing us out here. And also remind you guys to please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Maybe you've been binge watching my videos and you just forgot to hit that subscribe button. Welcome to the community. I also have YouTube memberships, which you can check out at the link in the description. But other than that, let's jump into all of the Monstera. So this is one of everyone's little favorite Monsteras, and this is the normal Monstera Adansonii. She's super cute. This is the normal form of Monstera. Not variegated, not round, not narrow. She's just cute, living her best life, being a cute little Adansonii. And by the way, most of these plants you can go buy on botanicas.com. So it's botanicasliterally.com or etsy.com com forward slash shop forward slash botanicas and you can bring home literally they sell variegated adansonii like they sell these plants so go check them out my little adansonii he's super cute super adorable and very easy to take care of now these next plants are monstera deliciosa albo variegata and these guys are super duper adorable we love them they are really cute. They're actually super easy to take care of. So if you've been hesitating on getting an albo, Botanicas does sell them and theirs are incredibly high quality. So if you've been, you know, holding off, maybe now is your uh, divine sign to get an albo for a decent price. These ones are also super great, like variegation wise, like look at that leaf. That's great. Marbling's great, kind of sectoral, but not enough that, you know, it could be give you any danger of it dying or something. But yes, and check out this new leaf. Look at that little cutie right there. So cute. But yeah, Monstera Deliciosa Albo Variegata. And I believe that these ones are very specifically Deliciosa and not Borzigiana, but I'm not totally sure. Borzigiana is kind of its own thing. It is the it is a form of Deliciosa. It's not a different species. It's a subspecies, but yeah. How cute are these? The next plant I'm gonna be sharing with you is the Monstera Spa Peru. <gasps> Ferragata. This guy is so cool and I've actually never seen one in person before. But look, so here's its first leaf, which they propagated from. And then we have this leaf and the variegation on this one is kind of peculiar because it's going down the veins kind of weird. And no, before I get any comments in the comment section, this is not a nutrient deficiency, okay? This is literally what it looks like. And then this whole half of the side over here is actually a lime green variegated right here. And up here is the normal Peru, but with a very beautiful deep dark vein right down that middle spot right there, which you can actually see the color right here. And now we have a new guy, which you can't see very well, the new variegation. It is definitely there. You can tell by the tip right there, but this is gonna slowly start to show up uh, over the next couple of weeks for them and it'll probably look something in between this and this. So that's super exciting. Again, the Monstera Spa Peru Variegata. This is unfortunately one of the more expensive plants on the market right now due to its obviously high demand for this obviously super cool plant. I don't know, one day I hope to have one but I want to wait until I can get like a bigger plant. You know what I mean? Since it's already expensive. Cute. Okay, next we're gonna talk Standeliana. This is Monstera Standeliana, a super fun kind of like a vining species. So this is one of my favorite plants. Actually, I have one of these at home. He's a beautiful half moon boy. And this is the Monstera Standeliana Albo Variegata. Most Albo variegated, uh, well, white variegated Standeliana always end up kind of coming through like this. So if you're able to get one that has more of a substance like this, that is super duper exciting. Mine grew like this and then I propped it and out of nowhere it got sectoral. So maybe you just need to prop and force variegation by propping, but I don't know. But this one's really, really beautiful and this is super exciting, this whole situation. Right here with this new leaf. Oh, that's gonna be so amazing if that keeps carrying through. But yeah, and then you can actually tell on the stem, it has amazing stem variegation. So uh, this is kind of like what mine looks like. Mine had a bigger uh, like sectoral variegation on the stem, but check out underneath. Always check the backs of the leaves for variegation because you really never know what you might uh, end up finding, especially if you're sport hunting. But yep, super duper cute little Standeliana Albo Variegata. Okay, now this one, I'm like stressed to even be holding it to be honest. And it's not because it's expensive, it's because it's literally like 
my obsession right now. But this is on my wish list, and this is Standaliana Aurea Vergata. And this is one that I didn't think that I like. I did not think I was like a yellow variegation person until extremely recently. It wasn't until I saw Harley's last December, which this is propagated from, that I really just fell down the rabbit hole with the Aurea types, the Monstera Deliciosa Aurea and the Standaliana Aurea. I just think that they're so beautiful and I love the yellow. It's also, I believe, less apt to melt for you. I'm not a scientist, I'm just a hobbyist, from, but from what I've learned is that it's less likely to uh, go ahead and melt on you. But look at this amazing plant. Check that out. Spilling some perlite on the floor. Look at that leaf right there. Amazing. And that one, that's my favorite one on the right. Oh my gosh, so good. Yeah, and then check out the stem on these. See how variegated those are? That is so good. Amazing. Ooh, that's a nice leaf too. I didn't even see that one before. Wow, yep. This guy, I do believe, goes for more expensive than the Standaliana Albo. Honestly, she kind of deserves it, am I right? She's kind of beautiful. <laughs> kind of really, really pretty. Okay, you guys, we're down to the wire. I've saved the best two for last. Well, technically, I mean, we have more to talk about, but these are the last I'm gonna be holding you and showing you. I mean, okay, we technically have four more, five more left. <laughs> The Monstera Adansoniae Variegata. And this one is probably the most beautiful one I've ever seen, to be honest. It's just so, like, I don't understand why the Adansoniae has such a propensity for sectoral variegation. I feel like you almost never see marbled Adansoniae Variegata. I feel like it's almost always this sectoral vibe. And even the stem, if you take a look at the stem, it's also very sectoral. Let me know if you guys have or have seen in the past marbled. Like, it'll kind of marble barely like this, right? But you'll never, I feel like I've never seen a leaf of just marbled Adansonii. I don't know why that is. I feel like they're almost always like this. Maybe the people who first made them were like just breeding for the sectoral because honestly, it does look really good. My favorite is when you get like a half moon and then a full green and then a half moon and then a full green or alternating half moon sides. I think that those are so cool. And I also love that these all grow facing one way because it's like, you don't even need to worry about trying to turn it because it's only ever gonna really <laughs> grow in one direction. Wow, and then we have a very kind of exciting but also scary new leaf coming in that looks like a very white leaf happening. <laughs> and then look at the mintiness. I wish you guys could see this in real life because it's shiny. Like, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but plants are so freaking shiny, like sparkly and stuff. Amazing, am I right? Oh, that's so beautiful. Anyways, Monstera Adansonii Vergata, super beautiful, super gorgeous. And I will have one one day, but it's really not on my wish list, I don't think. Pretty, I can appreciate it, but I don't think I need one. You know what I mean? This is the moment you've all been waiting for, and I know you have. You saw the Monstera, you were like, oh, is it gonna be there? And I promise it is, and here it is. These are Little Monstera Oblica. And before you go, leave me a comment in the comment section. Unpopular opinion, actually unpopular fact, there are a lot of Oblica. <laughs> there are not just a couple and many people own one. If you're telling people that they're Oblicas or Adansonii's, you should stop. Check this out, little teeny tiny Oblica boy. So this is a teeny tiny propagation. You can actually see the node in there that it came from. Super adorable. And uh, this one's just starting to get fenestrations. These two are actually about to be listed on Botanica's website, according to Anya. So go check out their website. You might be able to buy an Oblica. Amazing. We love Botanica's. They're just making all these rare plants so accessible and for pretty decent prices, I have to say. Look at that. Amazing. And these were all grown from runners, which is just even more incredible. She also propagated her massive Oblica. She's making a ton of babies from that one as well. I can't wait to get one one day. They're so cool. This is one of the only Monstera I think that's super rare like this that I really want to own. Because the Adansonii is cool, but this is like Adansonii on steroids. Oh, it's so sick. And I love when they get mature and they're just like, it just looks like a netting. Wow. So beautiful. I can't believe I'm holding one in each hand, y'all. Come to Botanica's. <laughs> Okay, the last three plants I have on my list are some amazing Monstera, which are just not here in the shop. So I'm gonna be showing you some clips over my heckin' face. One of them is one that I actually just gifted Anya, and that is the Sport Monstera. This one I actually found, it's a cutting 
from, according to Tyler Thrasher, how you identify them is you do your last name, underscore, and then the number of it is, the, like the number of one that you found. So mine is Slater, underscore, 001. And I got it from Boise, so that's where its location is from. So this is a cutting from mine. And because the green on green Monstera isn't, what is it called, described yet, there's no actual name for it. That is what mine is called, is Slater 01, 001, Slater 001. It'll be cool when I have a 007 someday. But yeah, this is a cutting from Slater 001. It's now in the uh, Botanica's collection, and she's gonna make so many of them, and then she's gonna sell them, and then she's gonna make all of you very happy. And then I did trade her for a shake and a couple other plants, which you will see in another video if you haven't already seen it. And I just love the sport so much. I've been taking care of it for over a year. I got it to put out this adorable little nubbin baby and he's pregnant. So we're gonna get some babies soon and I'm so incredibly excited to see what Anya does with my adorable little sport. I have a whole other stem at home of this plant. So Anya and I have twin plants. It's just really fun. I love it so much. So a plant that I actually forgot to tell you guys about is the Monstera Adansonii Mint Variegata. This is a plant that Harley actually just gifted to Anya on our stay here. And this plant is so awesome. Earlier in the video, I was like, I never see modeled Adansonii. And I think that's because they usually come in the form of this plant. It's super beautiful and I'd love to own one someday. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching my little Monstera video, the Monstera of Botanicas, or my top 10 favorite Monstera at Botanicas. If you liked this video, please make sure you hit like, subscribe, and tweet me at Plant Me Ashley. Again, thank you so much to Botanicas for sponsoring this video. And you can check out all of the links in the description to go check out the Botanica stuff for yourself. If you want to buy some plants, if you want to go follow them on Instagram, there is most likely a giveaway happening at this very moment that this video is out. So make sure you go and follow them to be entered into their giveaway and go leave some comments on the giveaway post. But other than that, you guys, thank you so much for being here with me, for hanging out with me. I had so much fun looking through all these Monstera and holding an oblique for the very first time. But you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll just have to see you in the next houseplant section. Goodbye. Thank you so much for the extra channel support to All the Green Places, Tara Wolfgang, The Planted Carly Flower, and Botanica. Also, I just want to say I do know that I am a couple Monstera short of 10. It's because I didn't have time to get footage of those plants and I didn't want to talk about plants that I knew they had that I couldn't show you. So I hope that you'll forgive me, but I think that the ones that I showed you are well worth the, uh, the compensation for not showing you a couple of the other ones. Have a great night. Kisses, and I'll see you guys in the next video.